action. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. My name is Sean Willow and I'm a sneeze artist. For the last 50 years, this has been my greatest secret until today. This is my story. At a young age, I discovered the ability to sneeze on command. My brother got a hold of this and started using me as a circus act, getting me to perform my sneezes for fascinated family and friends. This got a laugh out of everyone, and as a young kid made me feel very important. These laughs continued for years, all the way up until that one fateful Christmas lunch. We were all gathered around the table saying grace. With my eyes closed, my little sister, being the rat bag she was, deliberately blew black pepper right under my nose. Immediately, I was sent off into a sneezing fit, <coughs> spraying sneezes all over the faces and the food of everyone at the table. I was so embarrassed, I ran out of there. After that day, I made a conscious decision to stop sneezing. I banned black pepper from entering the family home. I stopped performing sneezes for everyone. And I even started wearing masks around cats. The next sneeze defining moment came when I was 25 and just about to finish my painting degree at university. I was sitting around eating a meat pie for lunch one day, completely unaware that the pie was beef and the dreaded black pepper. It only took one bite to send me off into a projectile sneezing fit. <coughs> Splatters of meat pie shot across the air, <coughs> hitting the adjacent wall. Instead of being disgusted in what had just happened, I became visually overwhelmed. <coughs> All my life I had struggled with tradition and the limitations of a paintbrush. This unintentional outburst of spontaneous energy had given birth to a new and exciting painting technique. I had always believed that where there is nothing, there is always something. And on that faithful day, I found that something. Sneeze art. I now began painting with my nose, mixing paint with ingredients that would help trigger a sneeze. Each sneeze created an injection of spontaneous colour that would carelessly fuse itself onto the canvas. <coughs> but it was the inelegance of a sneeze that had problems. In such a conservative society, who would invest in a sneeze? Not only was it dirty, it was extremely unhygienic. <coughs> I wanted to share this with the world, but at the time I believed that to tell my story would be to kill it. <coughs> I decided my greatest gift would now become my greatest secret. <coughs> and from that day forward, I painted behind closed doors. <coughs> For the next 50 years, my paintings would go on to be showcased around the world. <coughs> Unbeknown to the public, that my paintings came from a sneeze rather than the motion of a paintbrush. <coughs> Two years ago, feeling lost and ready to give up, I decided to join an internet sneeze fetish community. 
This gave me a gateway to tell my story to an understanding audience. Just like their sneeze fetish secrets, they kept mine. For the first time in my life, I was able to sell my paintings in their true intended form. After initially receiving great feedback through the sneeze fetish community, things have started to turn sour. A jealous troll has made it their mission to ruin me. They are claiming that sneeze art is a hoax, an elaborate attempt to make money, which is completely untrue. I've tried to keep quiet, but my unresponsiveness is making everyone else question my sincerity. Filled with the fear of isolating myself for another 50 years, I've decided to come clean. Through this video, I help to not only prove my skeptics wrong, but to finally reveal to the world sneeze art and give it the recognition it truly deserves. Sneeze art has redefined the sneeze for the better. Thank you. Hey!